So how you guys doing? Uh, welcome to your weekly love reading for September 24th to the 30th. I hope everyone's doing pretty good. Uh, so but before I get started, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and don't forget to comment. Remember, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Nothing's gender specific, and it could always be vice versa. Alright, for my Aries in love, September 24th to the 30th. Any messages for my Aries in love, September 24th to the 30th. Any messages for my Aries in love, September 24th to the 30th. Alright. Aries in love, September 24th to the 30th. Aries in love, September 24th to the 30th. Let's see what we got going on for you, Aries. Let's see here. Aries in love. Oh, okay. Got one. Aries in love, September 24th to the 30th. Okay. Oh, interesting. <laughs> well, your card is here. <laughs> the Queen of Wands. Uh, right next to the Page of Wands, actually. Um, wow, okay. And overall energy is the moon. The moon. You know, it's funny. I mean, normally it, this means secrets. But I don't feel like this is like a se like secrets, like in a bad way. I think you're going to get an unexpected offer of some kind. Or good news. Uh, news or an offer. News or an offer. You know, and it's, and it's funny because, yeah, I think it's definitely going to be an offer. I don't know if you notice. I'm trying to get this to focus. Here we go. There are two cats, right? There's one cat with the Page of Wands and one cat with the Queen of Wands. Both orange tabbies. Someone's going to offer you something, guys. Let's see what this is about. Uh, can we clarify the Page of Wands for my Aries in love for September 24th to the 30th? Please clarify the Page of Wands for my Aries in love September 24th to the 30th. Please clarify the page of wands for my Aries and love. Please clarify the page of wands. Hmm. Okay, we'll get another go, guys. Page of wands here. This definitely feels like an offer. Page of wands. Please clarify the page of wands for my Aries and love. Please clarify the page of wands for my Aries and love. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. I'll show you guys, no worries. Interesting. Okay, so I see lots of water here, guys. Lots of water. Got a Scorpio card here. Even got a Capricorn card here. There's lots of earth, lots of water. There's the whole gang's here. Whole gang's here. So clarifying this page of wands, again shrouded by the the moon energy, the moon energy. Something something coming to light is kind of what it feels like. Something coming to the surface. Not again, not necessarily secrets. It's just something you probably weren't aware of or something you're, the person you were resonating with or connecting with wasn't really aware of. So the energy clarifying the Page of Wands is the Hierophant in Reverse. And to me, the Hierophant in Reverse, again, it's like every reader kind of has different uh, energies when they're using certain decks. And for me, when the Hierophant's in Reverse like this, especially with this deck, it's indicative of a choice that has to be made or some kind of like stalemate. Sometimes conflict, I don't know. I'm not really feeling conflicts. I'm definitely feeling more like a choice here has got to be made. Something contractual even. Could be something committed, really. Committed. Committed. Hopefully no, one, no one's deciding to commit anybody. Um, <laughs> um, commitment is what I meant to say. So we have King of Cups clarifying the Page of Wands. Oh, that's funny. Knight of Cups. King of Cups is right next to it. King of Cups in reverse. With the Six of Pentacles and the King of Six of Pentacles, Jesus. 
<laughs> I got my words with me, guys. I promise. It's coming. It's coming back to me. With the King of Pentacles in reverse. So a choice has got to be made here. Someone's coming in with an offer of love. And I think that's also going to be part of this offer of passion. It's like... It's an offer of love with some passion mixed in the mix. Alright? And it seems like some of you guys are going to take it. That orange cat keeps, like, keeps um, catching my eye. I think a lot of you guys are going to take this offer, whatever it is. Now... We have two kings here. King of Cups and King of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is smacked up in the middle. Now that could be Capricorn, Scorpio. Don't know if they got, just got that in your chart. Again, it's just the energies that are, are here, guys. It doesn't mean that it has to be those signs. It's just the energy of a Scorpio and a Capricorn. Um, water and earth and air. I feel like this offer is coming up because maybe there hasn't been a whole lot of give and take, equal give and take between the two of you, whoever you're resonating with, whoever you're connecting with, or your partner, whoever you're married to. Um, someone's gr And someone could be really greedy here. Someone's really greedy and someone's really emotional. Um, I'm guessing the greedy person is probably the person who's not giving as much, right? So that's what it seems like here. An offer's coming in. The past doesn't have a whole lot of give and take. Um, Excuse me, let's clarify this further. Uh, let's clarify the King of Cups here in reverse. Let's clarify the King of Cups. Please clarify the King of Cups in reverse for my Aries in love. September 24th to the 30th, please clarify the King of Cups in reverse. Please clarify the King of Cups in reverse. Please clarify. Well, doesn't that just say it all? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why my phone isn't, like, focusing properly. It's like, if I back up, is it still going to... All right. All right. There it goes. Still focused. Okay. So to clarify the King of Cups in reverse, this person who might be overly emotional a bit or, like, not in control of their emotions right now, we have the world in reverse as the... Um, is the overall energy to clarify this King of Cups. I sense recurring problems. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Sorry, that's my cat. <laughs> Trying to get my attention. He just almost crawled right on, on top of the cards. So to clarify this King of Cups in reverse, with the recurring problems energy surrounding it, we have Queen of Swords with the Tower. Something happened, guys. Something happened. And to me, it seems very, like, some of you guys might have been cut out, and, you know, whoever's coming in with this offer uh, is trying to reconcile things. It's up to you if you guys want to. That's totally, you know, that's your decision. I don't know your life. I don't know your business. You guys are the best judge of that. I just, I just tell you the cards. <laughs> um, okay, so that's what happened over here with the King of Cups energy, Tower. I'm, like, dying to clarify this Tower moment. Let's see. It's surrounded by recurring problems. Please clarify the Tower. Please clarify the tower for my Aries and love, September 24th to the 30th. Please clarify the tower for my Aries and love, September 24th to the 30th. Please clarify the tower. Please clarify the tower for Aries and love, September 24th to the 30th. Please clarify the tower. Surrounding the tower, again, that's attached to the King of Cups in reverse, we have Injustice, guys. Injustice. Six of Cups was right underneath it, so I feel like you are dealing with someone that you've been with for a while, could even be a possible soulmate, uh, someone you've had past lives with. Now, this King of Cups here has this tower connected with the Queen of Swords clarify the tower we have Empress in reverse with Page of Wands mm. 
again, page of wands, offer not coming to fruition. So it seems like this offer or wanting this offer has kind of been a recurring theme for a while for you guys. Um, and since it never happened, someone cut someone out because they got tired of waiting. I'm sure is what I'm sensing here. I got tired of waiting for the offer to come in. That's like a running theme for this upcoming week. Quite a few signs have kind of had this issue, but this and but this definitely confirms that this is recurring. You're waiting for someone to do something. You're waiting for someone to take action. Come on, get off your feet. Do it, do it, do it. And it's not happening. Uh, let's clarify King of Pentacles in reverse here. Surrounding this lack of give and take. Please clarify the King of Pentacles in reverse. I'm so sorry about the focus, guys. It's like, it keeps catching my eye. I can just tell it's like, it's struggling. And I don't know if that's because the sun's going down and it has to constantly adjust. Sorry. Make sure to do it a different time next time. Please clarify the King of Cups, King of Cups, King of Pentacles. Please clarify the King of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Pentacles in reverse. For Aries and Love, September 24th to the 30th. Uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Definitely trying to do a lot of talking. Almost done with my method. If you're new to my videos, um, I gotta let them fly. That's my method. That's how I read. Every reader is different. This method works for me. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. So to clar clarify the King of Pentacles in reverse, the person is too focused on money, too greedy, a little too materialistic. We have Page of Swords in reverse. So someone was not very tactful <laughs> when communication took place or when this person decided to cut this person out, right? Not very tactful. And underneath it, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Ugh. Bad karma. Okay. So the King of Pentacles in reverse, the materialistic individual energy here that we have, they have the Three of Pentacles, Ace of Swords in reverse, Six of Swords in Reverse, and the Virgo card, the Hermit card. So, it seems like someone was trying really hard to keep this dishonesty a secret. There's some dishonesty that kind of took place here, okay? Um, and there was a need for this honesty. There was a need for the truth, a need for this new beginning almost. Um, and I think you, Aries, I think you told them what's what. I think you put your foot down because you are an Aries. You guys are good. You guys are good at that in a very good way. I've all I've loved for all the signs, guys. Love for all the signs. Everyone brings something different to the table. I think you told them what's what, and they felt defeated. They felt defeated by that because they knew they did you wrong and they knew about this dishonesty, and they they kind of ran away. <laughs> they uh, I don't mean to laugh, but it's like. It, that's how it feels, like almost like a scared animal, right? It's like, what do scared animals do? They run, they hide. Um, going back into soul searching, this person's soul, soul searching, and I think they're the one who's going to come forward with this offer. I don't think it's you guys, but again, it could be vice versa. You know your situation best, but that's what it seems like here. Um, let's look at what's ahead. I know, I know, it's okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's not dinner yet. <laughs> dinner time's in like an hour, and I know they know that, but they always gotta act up. What can Aries expect by September 30th? What can Aries expect around the end of the month, end of the week, September 30th, for my Aries in love? What can they expect? Can my Aries in love expect around September 30th, the end of the week, end of the month? Aries expect around September 30th regarding love. Can my Aries in love expect around September 30th, the end of the week? 
<laughs> okay. So around September 30th, remember this offer is coming in somewhere between the 24th and 30th. That kind of energy is taking place. Towards the end, around the 30th, you're going to have this energy of the King of Cups. Another Scorpio-like energy. Remember, here it was reversed. Now it's going to be upright by the end of the week. And what else is going to be upright? Wheel of Fortune. Remember, it was reversed here. It was reversed here. And now by the end of the week, it's going to be upright. And there's going to be a King of Cups energy. But there's also going to be this reverse King of Swords energy. Okay, so some of you are going to take this off for you, some of you aren't. That's for sure. I can't believe we have like so many kings here. It's crazy. The only one we're missing is the king of wands. Anyway, just noticing that. And we have double um, king of cups here with the love. With the love and emotional stability. Emotional stability. So... Again, you know which, which, oh, Jesus, sorry, <laughs> in your situation with you and the, your partner, the person that you, you are connected with, the person you're resonating with, you know who's who, right, as far as the situation, the, the person who did the cutting and the person who's going to be doing the offering. So the person who uh, did the cutting out of the individual, they're going to have uh, good fortune here, okay, by the end of the week. And I do feel like it's more you guys, Aries. You're gonna inter channel your inner Scorpio. <laughs> I know, I know. Most Aries don't really like Scorpios, but it's just the truth. Um, and this King of Cups energy, I mean, you guys are gonna be the ones who are stable here. You guys are gonna be the ones who are stable here. It's like you're still gonna have this instability with this King of Swords, with this person that you had to cut out. And they're not going to be very tactful when you communicate this with them. They're, they're going to come in with an offer and you're going to be like, nope. <laughs> For the ones that are going to say no, you're going to be like, nope. Nope, I'm good. I'm done. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> keep it along. Keep moving along. Um, and there's a little bit of ego in this. Not a lot. Just a tiny bit. Just a little smidgen of ego here. So they might, be, you know, you might have some harsh words, but you have so much stability in your in yourself and your emotions and you have so much self-confidence and love in yourself Aries that it's like pfft, you're not even gonna be phased by that now for those of you that are that will accept this offer um, it's still gonna be these present energies here okay but you're accepting the offer now I'm sensing there, there's gonna be poor communication even if the, when the offer is accepted and I'm just telling you how I, I'm just telling you what I, what I'm sensing here, just telling you how I feel the cards. Um, you look at this offer and you both will be king-like energy regardless of your gender in a partnership together, but it's not going to be balanced. There's going to be good fortune, but there's going to be a lack of balance there that's going to have to be worked out. And I can definitely sense that. Um, I can definitely sense that. And I'm not saying you guys aren't going to work it out. You know Sorry about the focus. I'm not saying you guys aren't going to work it out. Um, you guys probably will. For those of you who are going to take this offer. But not everybody's meant to take this offer. So just keep that in mind. Not everybody is meant to take this offer. So you know who you are. You know your relationship. You know yourself. You know your needs. And I, I say this in almost every video. Um, because just because there's, there's an option of staying or leaving for general Aries doesn't mean everyone should stay, doesn't mean everyone should leave. So again, you guys know yourselves best. Let's pull from the Romance Angels deck. Let's see if we got any messages for you guys. Do we have any messages for my Aries in love from September 24th to the 30th? Any messages for my Aries in love September 24th to the 30th? Any messages for my Aries in love September 24th to the 30th? Come on. This is a big oracle deck, and I have tiny hands, so shuffling can be kind of a challenge sometimes. <laughs> but I'm getting better. Any messages of love? Of love. Any messages for my Aries in love? Apparently, yeah. Uh, a lot. There's a lot there. Mm. 
Mm. Okay. All right, let me lay all these out. Like I said, guys, there's a lot here. So, for those of you dealing with someone who's too materialistic, someone who's too focused on money, finances and career are affecting your love life. Okay? So, for the areas that are taking on that energy, just keep in mind, stop it. <laughs> stop it. Stop focusing on money so goddamn hard. Um, stop it. Stop being materialistic. Okay. Now, for those of you who are leaving the situation, release your ex. Release them. Release them, release them, release them. Release them, and yeah, I like there's a lot here, but I'm like, I'm seeing, I'm looking at the connections here, and this is the only message. For those who are not going to take that uh, offer, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Let it go. If you knew it wasn't right for you, just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I'm not a good singer, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> not gonna go there, guys. Uh, and so, for those of you who are gonna take this offer and go through reconciliation, um, there are a lot of cards here. So first thing, it's safe for you to love. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It's okay. They may have done something really fucked up in the past, they may have done something really awful in the past, but it's okay. It's okay to go there. It's okay to make the effort. Especially if you're that particular Aries making this offer, really make the effort, guys. If you're that Aries making the offer, really put in the effort. And if you're on the flip side of that, if you're accepting the offer, try to make the effort to trust, okay? Oh, I don't know why. I, just thought, I swore I saw the word trust. Make, make the effort to trust again. Make the effort to open yourself up again, okay? Because once you do, it's you're going to start to get to know each other again on a whole other level. Whatever happened, it feels like there was a, like a major hit to the foundation it's the best way I, I like I saw the word earthquake 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 but it's like that well what how does that make sense crack in the foundation okay your foundation your foundation the foundation to your relationship was struck and you're gonna get to know each other again that's gonna be part of building us back up and it's okay to to be a little flirt flirty flirt a little bit okay flirt and keep an open mind the message here doesn't the explicit message written here doesn't apply in this context, but this is the message. Keep an open mind, okay? And I'll read it to you guys in case it does resonate. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I don't think it applies here at all. But this general message of keeping that open mind of maybe this will be different now. Maybe we can trust again. Maybe we can actually make this work. Keep an open mind and keep that trust. I don't see the trust card here, but it's like I saw the word, I'm feeling it. There's got to be a lot of trust built back up here because you're dealing with a true soulmate. For some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, you're dealing with a true soulmate. And that Six of Cups card came out, so soulmate is definitely likely. Okay? Okay, Aries, I think you guys got it. I don't need to clarify anything else further. I mean, for most of you, Aries, I think you guys are going to be receiving the offer. I think, not well, well, I didn't mean to say that. Um, getting the offer, um, receiving and accepting, you know, that's, again, that's up to you guys. Some of you guys will, some of you guys won't. A small percentage of you guys. So, it's interesting because the words coming out of my mouth, it's like, it's not exactly what I was thinking, but it's coming out of my mouth that way for a specific reason. So I guess a small percentage of you are going to reject this offer. A small percentage. Small. <laughs> All right, Aries. Sorry, it was like, I, sw I swear, sometimes the energy just kind of like takes me away and I just got to run with it. You know what I mean? 
So just trust, and it's okay to love. It's it's safe to love. It's safe to open up again. It's safe to instill trust in this person if you know you are accepting this offer and this person is right for you. You be the judge of that. Okay, Aries, have a good week. I'll see you guys. Bye.